Ukrainian Evangelical Theological Seminary has been serving the Church for almost 30 years. However, our life uh, was dramatically changed after 24th of February 2022. when the Russian Federation started full-scale invasion. Russians, they were less than five miles away from the seminary. And seminary was between the, our army and the Russian army. It was like in a gray zone. So our students and faculty, they were like locked between. And it was a huge challenge for us, how do we evacuate our students and staff? And uh, in that moment, first five or six days of the war, it was extremely stressful because there was no way to evacuate people from our campus. And in that moment, you know, it was hard to see that God is with us. However, now when we look back, we look backward, we can see that Jesus was with us because it is only He who could orchestrate everything in a way that we evacuated our students and faculty and staff and then we were able to evacuate hundreds of other people from our area. And uh, after we evacuated our students, we started our relief ministry because at that moment most of grocery stores were closed down because Kyiv was almost surrounded by the Russian forces. And uh, elderly people, uh, women with children, they were extremely vulnerable. You have no public transportation, you have no grocery stores, you can purchase medicine. With our small team, we have been able to touch thousands and thousands of people. So um, God gave us grace to, um, to serve our nation as never before. At one point of time, we were informed that it is too dangerous to stay on our campus. We still had a small cohort of volunteers. So we decided to follow this instruction and we left our campus. And after two days, our campus was hit by six Russian missiles. It was very emotional for our team, for me, to come back to, the, to our campus. And when we arrived, uh, we realized that yes, our campus was hit and uh, we lost uh, 162, I guess, uh, windows, doors, roofs. At, like at first I was thinking, okay, what, what shall we do? How we will restore this? But uh, then um, we just uh, told to ourselves that we won't give up. Як ви бачите, ми поранені, але ми живі, і ми віримо, що ми відновимо наше служіння у повному офісі. So we are continuing our holistic or integral ministry in the midst of the war. We are doing full-scale educational ministry both in Ukraine and Central Asia, and also we are heavily involved in relief ministry in the area of Kiev and also in east part of Ukraine and south part of Ukraine. So we try to serve our nation in all ways that we can see, that we can serve. And um, this is a critically important moment for our history, for our nation, when church can impact our country, our nation as never before. When church can be a community of healing, restoration, and we pray and hope in future a place and a community for reconciliation. But for such important ministry, we need to have more faithful and competent ministers. So on behalf of UTS community, I want to invite our international friends and partners. Please join us in serving our nation Help us to touch our nation's heart. Help us to disciple our nation. 
help us to bring the gospel of Jesus to our country and our nation. May God bless you.